Pets is not quite the short film that I was hoping it would be. Usually most Christmas films will appeal to the family. But this one I feel is very much a children's film and difficult to enjoy by anybody over the age of five, maybe. Um, this was released in 2020. It's 26 minutes long and it is rated universal. So I kind of should have kind of felt straight away going into it that it maybe wouldn't have been the family film that most Christmas films are. There are some good things for this if you're a young child. So I will just say it's decent if you're four. But if you're a fully grown adult just looking for a fun Christmas animation, there are many, many others that I would recommend above this. Written and directed by Chanda Bell. And this is about the elves on the shelf, the elf on the shelf characters, which I think is a good thing because it's really nice to have something that's relatable. So when you know a child can watch this over Christmas and then they have their own elf on the shelf watching over them to report back to Santa or whatever it is those creepy elves do. And in this film, the elves are in a bit of a pickle because Santa's test flights have gone wrong and they have to try and resolve the problem before it's too late and before Christmas arrives. And on its own, that sounds quite interesting. There's a problem. It's almost Christmas Eve. They have to try and work together. We have these adorable reindeer. And I do think the animation quality for this is something that works in its favour. The elves were quite cute, very recognisable as elf on the shelf characters. And the reindeer, I just, I really enjoyed their, their animation design. But then it switches back and forth between the elf characters and the human family, if you like. And I have to say the little girl whose name I can't remember um, was very sweet. I really liked that character. I thought she was adorable. But it kept switching back and forth and it just didn't work. The editing between the scenes was not great and it felt forced. Again, if you're a young child who's not really able to follow the narrative in any great detail, but is just enjoying, you know, the visuals or some funny action on screen, that's perfectly fine. So in a way, that's not the biggest issue. But as a piece of writing, as an edited piece of 26 minute cinema, if you like, it's not very good. So I think the target audience will appreciate it. But anybody over the age of four will probably look at this and just think that is not well created. The animation style is nice. I do like that. Um, the actual editing of the animation is good, but the editing of the scenes um, and the way it's cut just is a bit forced and doesn't feel very natural. Ultimately, I don't mind the fact that I watched it because it was only 26 minutes and... Had it been a feature length, would I have watched it all the way to the end? I mean, probably, because it's a very easy watch. It's not exactly a difficult one to pay attention to. I don't mind having watched it. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody over the age of five. But if you are younger, it's a pretty safe way to bring some Christmas magic into the day. <laughs>